Many believe that professional success is based primarily on one's IQ. This measurement of intelligence has long been deemed the gold standard. IQ equals professional success. But beginning in 1990, psychologists and researchers discovered something interesting. They found that IQ alone wasn't able to account for an individual's professional or personal success. In fact, they identified one learnable skill that disproves this long-held theory. A quick overview of IQ and EQ. Starting around 1900, scientists and psychologists began investigating the concept of intelligence and developing ways to study and measure this trait in individuals. Today's IQ test is the result of many decades of research. But in the 1970s and 80s, psychologists became interested in how emotions affect intelligence. Can emotions be measured? Do they play a role in human achievement? Are our emotions uncontrollable? Or can they be harnessed and used for positive outcomes? In 1990, psychologists John Mayer and Peter Salovey published a landmark article called Emotional Intelligence. One of the conclusions of this groundbreaking work is that emotionally intelligent individuals accurately perceive their emotions and use integrated, sophisticated approaches to regulate them as they proceed toward important goals. Translation, individuals who have high emotional intelligence are great at correctly identifying emotions and using that information in tandem with reason and logic to make the best decisions and achieve their goals. What exactly is EQ? As mentioned earlier, EQ is the ability to identify your emotions and those of others and use that knowledge to make the best decisions regardless of circumstances. But how does that happen? It is possible to improve aspects of your EQ anywhere from 25% to 50%. At the end of this course, you will be able to State the emotional intelligence model, list the benefits of emotional intelligence.